<laughs> to be honest, man, I'm not even ex. I kind of low key predicted pretty much everything that was going to happen on this show. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Big Hero for his back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Hit me up on Twitter. And of course, wish me a happy birthday because it is indeed my birthday as well. Rumble Day. Oh man, they they were so close. WWE, you were so close to giving me a good birthday, a good show for my birthday, man. You were so close. Even though you gave me everything, I pretty much predicted. Like my predictions video was pretty much straight up on point, on point from match to match, bell to bell. Everything I predicted pretty much happened for the most part. But, man, listen. Alright, so I offer it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the matches I don't care about. Um, Becky Lynch versus Dewdrop. I, I really didn't pay attention to that match. I, um, got, got me something to drink. Because today is my birthday. I'm gonna keep saying that throughout, throughout the review. But um, today was my birthday, so I got me a little, little drink of drink. Also, this review is brought to you by Heineken. So if I sound a little, you know. A little all over the place, you know why. But I got me a little drink of drink. Didn't really pay attention to the match. I already knew um, Becky Lynch was gonna win. She won with a um, manhandle slam off the second rope. Anyway, Becky Lynch is still the um, Raw Women's Champion. Next match, um, the, the mixed tag team match between Edge and Mar Edge, pause. Edge and Beth Phoenix and Maurice and The Miz. Yo, this match was actually pretty fun. Um, Maurice was looking so good. She was looking like a dime plus 99. Looking real good. Edge and um, Beth Phoenix ended up winning the match with a double glam slam. The match was actually a whole lot of fun. Like I, I, I had a feeling that it was it would be like a real fun match. Edge and Beth Phoenix won. All right, so let's get on to the meat and potatoes, man. Let's get into the stuff I really cared about. And that was the rest of the card, um, the remaining four matches. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, Raw Women, not the Raw Women's, but the Women's Raw Rumble match out of the way because to me, that was the, I'll go out and say, I, I, no, I, I'll go out and say that this was the second best match of the night to me because this was the most fun. Like, besides the um, Universal title match, this was probably the most fun. And to be honest, this was the better Royal Rumble um, match between the men's and the women's match because the men's match really was really boring. It kind of almost put me to sleep. The only reason it didn't put me to sleep is because I knew I had to do this review. I was gonna knock this review out real quick before you know I just passed out or whatever. But I knew I wanted to get this review out of the way. But the um, women's Royal Rumble match was actually a whole lot of fun. It had a whole bunch of surprises, a whole bunch of them. I mean, they did announce a lot of the um, entrants ahead of time. So the majority of the match, you pretty much knew who was gonna come out. You didn't know exactly the order, but you did know that there would be a lot of people that you um, that they already announced. Um, first things first, I gotta do, I gotta talk about the fact that Mickey James came out at with the Impact Women's Championship, the um, Knockouts Championship, and she came out with her Impact Wrestling theme. Like I thought they were gonna have her come out with their um, WWE theme, but she came out with the Impact Wrestling um, Knockout Championship and her Impact Wrestling theme. So that was a pretty cool thing to see. And honestly, I really wasn't expecting her to win, but she did have a pretty decent showing. Um, I do gotta give a brief shout out to Jess Atlas because she did. He 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 did predict that um she would pretty much get knocked out in like five minutes or so and i think that's exactly how long she might see in the match but it was pretty good to see her in the match um another shout out i gotta give out to um is melina because we got to see her entrance and oh my god she still got it even though she was in the match for like a cup of coffee 
she got eliminated pretty early and that was kind of disappointing to see because Molina she's still she um she's still capable she still can't wrestle she still got it and her interest is still on point oh my god but she got eliminated really early by Sasha Banks speaking of Sasha Banks she got eliminated super early as well I was expecting her to at least make it to the final four but she got knocked out pretty early um another surprise i didn't i really didn't expect was ivory and not only did she come out as ivory she came out as right to censor ivory which is pretty funny she, like, she came out talking the entire time she was running down the um, women's division saying that they ain't shit pretty much um she dressed up like as she was in um right to censor and she got eliminated by rhea ripley and that was a pretty funny spot um Another thing, another um kind of weird, not I don't want to say weird, but another kind of cool spot we saw was Cameron of the Funkadactyls. As you know, she was a former tag team partner of Naomi. She came out to with her Funkadactyls theme, and um prior to her coming out, you had um, Sonya Deville come out, and she came to the ring and went straight to the announcer's desk and kind of just chilled out there, and she was um doing her announcing spot, and. As Cameron was coming out, they were like, well, the announcer was like, well, yeah, that's Cameron. She's the former tag team partner of Naomi. And Sonya Deville was like, oh, she used to tag with Naomi. So Naomi would be pretty mad if I eliminated her. And that's what happened. Like, as um, Cameron was doing her thing in the ring, Sonya Deville came in and eliminated her. And then after that, Naomi came out. And she ended up eliminating um, Sonya Deville. So that was pretty cool. But then later ended up getting eliminated by Sonya Deville. Like she, um, Naomi got knocked over the top rope. She was doing that spot, that, that typical Naomi and Kofi spot, where they do something to kind of stay in the ring or not get eliminated, and then immediately get, immediately get, get eliminated. But this time she um had her feet hanging off the um the ring apron, and Sonya Deville just pulled her out. So. I'm assuming that feud is still gonna continue, even though I was hoping it would end, but it's gonna continue. Oh my God. Uh, Women's Royal Rumble, we got a uh, Molly Holly return, Mighty Molly return. Um, she got beat up by um, Nikki, almost a superhero, because I guess they can only have only one superhero at a time, even though the hurricane had a whole crew of superheroes come up, but whatever it is what it is. Um, we had a whole bunch of other legends come return. Lita pulled up, Alicia Fox pulled up, and the biggest surprise of them all, which wasn't really a surprise, but it kind of still was, because she got the biggest pop of the night to me, besides Roman Reigns, and that was the return of Ronda Rousey, who ended up winning the whole damn thing, as I predicted. Um, the final four was uh, Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, Charlotte Flair, and Bianca Belair. And it ended up coming down to um, Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey ended up winning the, um, Royal Rumble, the Women's World Rumble. She's gonna go on to WrestleMania, and um, I'm guessing, she, well, they, they pretty much announced that she's gonna be on Raw this um, this coming Monday night to, I, I'm assuming, announce who her um, who she's gonna pick to um, the challenge for the um, the pick the, the challenge who she's gonna face at WrestleMania. Um, Oh, overall, like I said, like this match was a lot better than the men's Royal Rumble match, which the men's Royal Rumble match was, ah, man, I gotta be honest with you. The men's Royal Rumble match was pretty boring. Um, they eliminated a lot of people who I think that would last, last a lot longer early, like Dominic Mysterio got eliminated early before his dad came out. The Street Profits got eliminated by Omos. Omos didn't last at that long at all, and I was pretty bored the entire match, up until Bad Bunny returned. Like Bad Bunny, <laughs> Bad Bunny pulled up during the um, Royal Rumble, and that was like the most excited I got throughout this part of the show. And then you had Shane McMahon return. I'm like, oh whatever. Shane McMahon with his weak ass punches, he eliminated Kevin Owens. He ended up getting um, eliminated. And the man that got the biggest, well, one of the men that got the um, biggest reaction during this match was St. Louis's own Randy Orton. Of course, the Royal one was taking place in St. Louis. So, of course, Randy Orton's going to get the biggest pop. Um, and then um, Riddle got um, a big pop as well. Like, he did this one cool spot where he did, like, um, like, he ran off someone's back and hit an RKO on someone else. And that was 
excuse me, that was a pretty cool spot. But the man that ended up winning the whole entire shebang of bang was Brock Lesnar. And there was no real explanation as to how this man, how Brock got the um, number 30 spot. But he just pulled up because I guess he's Brock Lesnar. Came in at number 30, eliminated everybody. The um, final two was um, him and Drew McIntyre. Drew, Drew McIntyre also made his return. Pulled up on um, Happy Corbett and um, Matt Cat Moss, eliminated them two, knocked them out. So the final two it came down to was um, Matt, not Matt Cat Moss, but um, Drew, Drew McIntyre and Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar ended up winning. And I know you're pretty much saying, well, why? Well, Brock Lesnar is the WWE champion. How did he end up in the Royal Rumble? Thank you for asking. I'll tell you how. So the, um, one of the main events was Brock, Brock Lesnar going up against Bobby Lashley. And this was pretty much a good match. And up until the point you where you had um, the referee get knocked out. Um, Brock Lesnar was setting up Bobby for the um, F5. And the way Brock hit the F5 on Bobby ended up knocking the referee out. So, of course, you know, the shenanigans were happening. And the shenanigans that ended up happening was Roman Reigns coming out and beating up Brock Lesnar. And part of that being was um, um, Roman Reigns hitting Brock Lesnar with the WWE Championship that was handed to him by Paul Hammond. So it looks like Paul Heyman and Brock, not Brock Lesnar, but Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns are back together. Um, the Tribal Chief and the Wise Man are back together. I was so happy for this. And I was also happy for the fact that Bobby Lashley is now a two-time WWE Champion, the first ever African-American male to be a two-time WWE Champion. So that's a pretty cool thing to see. Bobby Lashley is a new WWE Champion, so which, which of course explains why Brock ended up in the Royal Rumble to an extent. They didn't really do a good job of explaining it. All they said was, oh, Brock Lesnar's in the Royal Rumble and he's mad because of what um what I just said happened. Which um leaves us with the um, universal title match between Roman Reigns and um Seth Rollins, which to me, this was by far the match of the night. Not, be, not, not, not just because of the in-ring action, but because of the psychology. So this o ended up opening up, opening up, ended up, pause, ended up opening the show, even though on the pre-show they said that the um, first match was gonna be between Brock and Bobby, and it ended up being, being um, Seth Rollins and um, Roman Reigns. And Roman Reigns ended up coming out first. What I, I was like, yo, why does the champion come out first? It made so much more sense because Seth Rollins came out <laughs> to the shield thing. He came out in his old shield gear, ended up coming out through the crowd like the shield used to, and Roman looked pissed. The fact that Seth Rollins had the audacity to come out with the shield thing, dressed up as he did in the shield, and you know that this was all a part of Seth Rollins' plan to get under the skin of Roman Reigns to really piss him off. And for the most part, they ended up working because from a good chunk of the match, Roman Reigns couldn't really get into his groove because Seth Rollins had already gotten to his head, you know, dressed up as the um, shield. So Seth Rollins, it appeared to be a step ahead of Roman Reigns throughout a good chunk of the match. Like, if this was um, rewarded off points, Seth Rollins would have won. What ended up happening was um, Roman Reigns ended up locking Seth Rollins into the guillotine choke and Seth Rollins ended up getting to the bottom rope and this is kind of something that a lot of people are going to end up talking about. The fact that um, the referee did this spot where um, he lifts up the um, opponent's arm, he lifted up Seth Rollins' arm to see if he could still continue and it looked like the um, referee ended up putting Seth Rollins' arm on the bottom rope. And um, Seth, I mean, Seth Rollins ended up with his hand on the bottom rope, which um, in wrestling rules, that means that Roman Reigns had to break the hold. Roman Reigns did not break the hold. He had it locked in and ended up um, losing by disqualification. But of course, that means he's still the WWE the Universal Champion. And Roman Reigns was had it locked in and he was saying like, Seth Rollins deserved this. He had it coming, he made me do it. He's just going off. And then after the match, Roman Reigns lights Seth Rollins up with a steel chair. He takes one steel chair, 
um, shades of when Seth Rollins turned his back on the shield. Roman Reigns knocks out Seth with the, sh um, the steel chair, ends up getting another steel chair, ends up whooping his ass with the steel chair. The steel chair is just all the way jacked up. And Seth Rollins, I mean, Seth Rollins ends up winning the match by disqualification, but Roman Reigns is still the Universal Champion. And I'm like, yo, we need to get this rematch popping as soon as possible. But with what happened in the WWE Championship match and the fact that Brock Lesnar is the W, is the, um, won the World Rumble is now the number one contender for whatever championship he um, decides to go after. I think, I'm pretty sure he's going to go after the Universal Champion because he wants that revenge. He wants to get his hands on Roman Reigns. So I'm only assuming that it's going to be Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns one more time at um, Crown Jewel. But Roman Reigns is going to end up winning and it's going to be Brock Lesnar going up against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Whew, so that's the Royal Rumble. Overall, besides the men's Rumble match and, and the two matches I didn't really care about, the show itself was actually really fun. I um, really enjoyed myself watching the show. I wasn't really bored besides the men's um, Royal Rumble match. Um, overall, it was a good show. Also, another thing that happened, apparently when um, Ronda Rousey won the um, her Rumble match, she um, pointed the WrestleMania sign, which you're instructed to do. If you don't point at the sign, the whole world will end. But um, he, she um, ended up pointing at the sign, and apparently the um, sign caught on fire, so they had to take the WrestleMania sign down. So that's another thing that happened. But um, anyway, man, that's my thoughts on the Royal Rumble. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Of course, as always, like, comment, subscribe, man. You guys take care. Be easy. Acknowledge my birthday. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, a great week, a great weekend, whatever. Whenever you watch this, I don't care, man. I'm I'm about to go lay down because if you can't notice, I'm I'm a little late right now. So <laughs> do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, point it to WrestleMania sign. Do whatever you got to do, man. Take care. Be easy. I'm out. Peace.